All right, so we're going to take a look at the direct comparison test, and we're going to determine if a series uh, converges or diverges using this test. All right, so we're going to let A be between 0 and B sub n. So 0 less than A sub n less than or equal to B sub n for all n. If the series B sub n converges, then the series A sub n converges. Okay, And then here it says if the series A sub n diverges, then the series B sub n diverges. Okay, So basically what this is saying is if you look up here you can see B sub n is larger than A sub n. So what it's saying is if the larger series converges, then the smaller series converges. And here it's saying if the smaller series diverges, then the larger series also diverges. Okay, so that's that's kind of an easy way to look at it when you when you have the two series and you're comparing them. Okay, you want to see which one's larger, which one's smaller. Okay, and then. You can use, then you use the direct comparison test. All right, so let's take a look at the first example. I'm going to do a couple examples, but I think I'm just going to do one example per video. Uh, this one, this first example isn't too bad, but the second one's a little bit longer, so I'm going to break them up into two videos. All right. So we have summation n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 plus 3 to the n. All right, so I'm going to compare this to summation n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the n. What you can do is you can just kind of just keep the, the larger term uh, from the numerator and denominator. And of course, 1 is the largest term in the denominator, and this 3 to the n is the larger term in, in the denominator. Okay, so 1 is the largest in the numerator, 3 to the n is the largest in the denominator. So I'm just dropping off the 2. All right, and then we can also see that 1 over 2 plus 3 to the n is less than. 1 over 3 to the n, which that makes sense because you can see that this denominator here, see n is going from 1 to infinity, and you can see this denominator here is going to be always going to be larger than this denominator. Okay, because I mean, there, we've got on both of them we have 3 to the n, but this one we're adding 2 to each result, and so since the denominator is larger here, that means the whole fraction is going to be smaller. Okay, all right, and, and this is for n greater than or equal to 1. All right, so now I need to determine what this series here does. Okay, well, what is this? This is a geometric series, okay? Remember your you remember geometric series? Okay, so we can rewrite this as n equals one to infinity and this one over three to the n. Now remember I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get this in the form a times r to the n. Okay, remember your geometric series? A times r to the n. Okay, see my exponents down here in, in the denominator. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over 3 to the n. So we can see here that r is equal to 1 third. All right. So we can see here for the geometric series that the absolute value of r, which in this case is 1 third, is between 0 and 1. See, this, this number here is one-third and that's between zero and one. So that means this series here converges. Okay, so 
we can say by the direct comparison test that our series of 1 over 2 plus 3 to the n also converges. Okay, because remember, remember what it says. Okay, we, we determined the larger series. Okay, we showed that the larger series converges. And remember, by our theorem, if the larger series converges, then the smaller series also converges. Okay, and, and that's what we showed. We showed that the larger series converges, so that means the smaller series also converges. Okay. So I hope this has helped. Uh, and check out my other videos, and like I said, I'm going to do another example of this direct comparison test. All right, thanks.